This is Eric with Techno RV, and this is the learning series for the Rand McNally RV ND7. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, choose destinations. And uh, so to do that, from the main menu, uh, you're just going to click on uh, choose destination. There's a lot of different ways to do this, so we want to walk through all of them here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is just click New Location. And from here, you'll notice that uh, there are several ways that you can enter a new location. Uh, the first way is you can just enter an address. And so uh, if you click on Enter an Address, you know, it'll ask you to enter the city name. Now, you don't need to click in city name right here. Once you're up, you just go ahead and just start, uh, you know, just typing in. So if I wanted to type in, say, Mobile, uh, Alabama, and I would click now it's going to ask you for your house number street name so just walk through those uh, steps there and uh, and then just uh, click route so that's how you enter an address you can also do city center so if I click on that uh, this is going to just ask me what city do I want to go to so maybe you're, you're familiar with the the ins and outs of a particular city but you just don't know how to get there uh, you could do city center uh, enter that here and then when you get there, you're kind of you could be on your own. Uh, intersection, uh, you can do it by intersection. Uh, although you'll need some uh, intersecting streets to do this, but you can uh, certainly enter that under the intersection part. The other thing that you can do is enter latitude and longitude. So down here in the lower left-hand corner, uh, it gives you a sample of kind of what this needs to look like, and then you're just going to enter it into this space right here for latitude and then uh, for longitude as well and uh, so this is good for uh, people maybe you're going to an RV rally and they've given you a specific latitude longitude of the entrance or maybe you're a boondocker and you have a really nice place that you you don't want to forget uh, you can always enter that under longitude and latitude uh, so there's four ways to enter a, a destination there uh, now, the way that I like to do this is I like to use the points of interest. So, again, let's go back out so that we're, we're clear on where we're at here. So, in the, under the main menu, if you'll click under Choose Destination, and then if you'll click Points of Interest. And now, we need to enter the city uh, that we would like the points of interest. Uh, you can enter a city, or maybe you've already got one entered here. Um, I'll just go ahead and do uh, Sandusky, Ohio, since that was already in mine. Once you enter the city, then it's going to give you the points of interest categories. Uh, for example, say I'm looking for campgrounds in Sandusky, Ohio. Uh, I could do all campgrounds. And then it's basically going to give me a list of everything in that area. This is how far it's from me. And then don't forget... Uh, that you've got an arrow over here on the right hand side that you can scroll through these and uh, again if you go back there's RV services parking areas you always have the other categories as well uh, diesel fuel restaurant is the, the airport in a particular area and again use that down arrow to see more rental cars golf golf courses there's really just all kinds of points of interest that you may find some uh, some use out of. Uh, so uh, let's go back into campgrounds, and then I'm just going to go ahead and enter one here. Let's just do Camp Sandusky uh, here. Uh, you'll notice whenever you click on a particular campground in the lower right hand corner, there's something called details. If you'll click on details, it'll give you the details of that particular. Uh, campground. Uh, so they have RV and tent sites, uh, hookups, Wi-Fi, pool. Uh, sometimes um, different parks will have uh, more information uh, as far as maybe laundry rooms or um, you know it might even specify uh, full hookups and things like that. And uh, so not, not a ton of information on this particular one here but it's always good to click that details button there. Um, you can also save it to the address book. So I'll show you where the address book is here in just a minute. But if you come across a, uh, if you have an RV park maybe that you go to frequently, you can add it to the address book. Um, 
But once you're here, you know, you can either begin the new route, uh, and this will just take me to that destination on the fastest route because I have my GPS set to the fastest route. Or I can click compare routes and what this will do is this will give me another alternative to the fastest route and then I can choose from there. Um, so a lot of options here on setting up uh, destinations. And I'm just hitting the back button here if you'll notice in the upper right hand corner you'll see the back button and that just continues to uh, take, me, take me out um, to the screen ahead of that. I, back to my destination screen, you'll notice the address book here. So let's go ahead and click on that. So on that Camp Sandusky that I had, if I would have clicked add to address book, then it would be here. Uh, maybe you've got uh, family members that you want to add to the address book. You can set these up in groups. So maybe all, all families in a group, certain campgrounds are in a group. Uh, so you can kind of play around with this uh, this address book as well and go ahead and start building that up to make your, your trips a little uh, easier there as well. And, uh, and that is uh, how you set up destinations in your Rand McNally RV ND7.